G'day there everyone. Now AI actions in SharePoint document libraries and why metadata has never been so important is the focus of this video. Real world example, working with a HR team around job applications, resumes, and we're going to take a look at a library and walk through how AI actions are helping and also how the SharePoint knowledge agent is really enhancing the use of metadata. So we can see right here in this document library, we've got this set up for all of our resumes. Now we've got a number of metadata columns that have already been added and have been populated. Uh, now, if you do want to learn how to build uh, SharePoint document libraries that are Copilot ready, head over to copilotreadylibraries.com uh, and I've created a custom course just to teach you how to do that and how to build out these libraries libraries so that they are co-pilot ready. Uh, even without co-pilot, it becomes extremely important and beneficial for you. So head over to copilotreadylibraries.com. Now back into this site. First, we are going to take a look at this new button that we've got in our libraries called AI Actions and see what the functionality is all about. So uh, I'm going to jump out of these applications resumes library first, and I'm going to jump into just to the default document library because I've got this really large document here that is a Microsoft 365 tenant uh, health and status review document. Now you'll notice that I've got this little, uh, these little stars, uh, this icon next to the share button that gives me um, a little menu that gives us AI actions. And I've also got the AI actions up the very top here as well. So we've got summarize, create an FAQ, create an audio overview, ask a question or create an agent. So let's click on summarize first. So what Copilot's going to do here, really long document, it's going to give me a nice quick um, summary of this document without me needing to open the doc and browse and everything like that. I can get a nice overview of this document. Now, this ties into the SharePoint Knowledge Agent because once this has given me a summary, I can then ask continual questions. So I can ask a question, that is then going to open up this Knowledge Agent on the right-hand side and I can continue my conversation with Copilot. Well, in particular, this SharePoint Knowledge Agent. So that is feature or functionality number one. Next up, we do have create an FAQ. So again, think of scenarios around employee handbooks, policies, procedures, those types of things where you might want to generate an FAQ, publish it as a SharePoint page or as another resource, and then uh, that will allow other people to be more self-serving. They can go and find the answers to the questions, right? So based on the contents of the document, what Copilot's done is give me 16 questions and 16 answers that I can then go and do something about. Now, what's next? We've got a create an overview. Let's have a listen. It's Welcome to this audio summary of the Microsoft 365 Tenant Health and Status Review prepared for example client... So there's the overview, one person speaking, but we can switch to podcast style as well. Welcome to our professional digital collaboration... Exchange Online Security and Compliance... So you can see there we've got two people talking, right? So they're having a conversation. So we've now got a podcast version of our Tenant Health and Status Review if you are audio inclined. Now, next one, we've got ask a question. That's gonna fire up and open up our SharePoint Knowledge Agent where we can ask a question and have a conversation literally about this document, all right? Now, again, last one, I can create an agent specifically grounded in this one single document. And if I go to sources, you can see that that is there as its knowledge source, right? So we can create an agent based on that particular document. Now. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna jump back into my job applications and resumes and let's have a look at what happens and things change when we select multiple documents. So if I select these three resumes as an example, I've still got my AI actions, but it changes a little bit. I've now got the ability to compare these files, right? So quickly, easily, 
I can do a comparison and Copilot's going to get these three, synthesize and then give me a comparison table, right? So here I've got some examples. I can then jump back out into ask a question. And again, the knowledge agent appears on the right hand side and it is loaded into the chat where I can continue that conversation. All right, so you can start to see how uh, these AI actions and we're in a, and smart use of these uh, can really help and enhance the way that you're uh, that you're looking at and accessing your files. Now, what about this metadata? Now, where this comes into play, not only out of the box SharePoint functionality, where we can filter and sort and create views, we can then directly use our knowledge agent to find information. Right, so I'm actually going to use voice here. All right, so I'm gonna click this little microphone on. Can you please get me all the people that have a typing speed of greater than 80? I can send that to my knowledge agent and it's going to look at this typing speed column here and it has pulled out the people that have got typing speeds of greater than 80. Right? So not only can we type, we can start to interact with voice. Right, So again, this metadata and understanding how we use that and what's important for us to do this type of data retrieval becomes really important. Right, So let's continue this conversation. Um, let's maybe say, can you now get me everybody that has a typing speed of greater than 80 and has skills in Tableau. All right, so didn't understand 100%, but I'm going to say, fix this up with my text and let's go. All right, so again, we're using our, uh, our AI assistant here and we're now getting, you can see Tableau, 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 um, writing speed above 80, above 80, above 80, right? So all of a sudden, we're starting to get enhancements uh, with the use of this metadata. Now, a lot of times the problem people have is getting people to actually set this metadata, right? So an approach that we can use here is by using what we call autofill columns. So let's have a look at these in action. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop a new resume into this library, right? So we've uploaded and let's have a look at where that is. Here it is here. So what's going to happen here is these columns are, have been set as autofill columns, right? So if I look at the, if I edit this column, you can see that I've got a prompt that's sitting on this library. Right, so identify the main technical skills listed in the document, output as a comma separated list, capitalize properly, if no skills are found, return not found, etc. right? So let's close this off. Now you can see there, that's been run, right? Automatically, it has pulled out the primary skill set, the most recent employer, the highest, qualification, uh, highest education, the typing speed wasn't found, so it put in not found. I've got the certs, I've got the full name, and that's automatically been set for me. So there is an example, again, of being able to provide an easy way for people, or a, a first step anyway, for metadata extraction out of a document into SharePoint, and then we can take advantage of things like the SharePoint Copilot Knowledge Agent, right? And that is all done by the autofill columns. So in addition to the, the standard benefits of metadata around views, um, and filtering and finding information, we now layer over the top of that some AI and some co-pilot and the knowledge agent. And now all of a sudden, we're starting to get a really enhanced information management and document retrieval um, and document management type of system there. So I hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, copilotreadylibraries.com where I will teach you how to build out all of these libraries uh, so that you can take advantage.